Hello everyone, this is the quick demonstration about how to control your ANC2 John can ESC over the autopilot software in loop. So this is the diagram we connected the hardware here. Uh, you can use a USB to cam a data like this one and you can also use a pixel 5 controller here so uh, we use the Windows USB to can a data here and this is a terminator re register load switch so we uh, enable it in this case and this is the Windows can splitter here this is a shoulder jumper here to enable the terminator low register here so this is uh, shorted and enabled here this is the uh, two end of the canvas here in the canvas we connect the John cam uh, ERIS here this is a uh, experiment hardware and software here we used to control the software in loop uh, for convenience and this is the Windows ESC DV board so now we uh, get it started in the past uh, tutorial we have already shown how to build the ANC2 uh, firmware from the source code so we will skip this part we I have already built the John Ken support branch in the DV uh, board here. So I will uh, uh, skip this part. If you are not familiar with the source code compiling, uh, please check the video before. Now I will um, power on the ESC. And this is the a data I already connect to my laptop so according to our document you can check if if there is a interface in your if config command you can see the can zero here but it's uh, not enabled yet so we use the IP link to bring up the hardware Now you can see the TSI indicator LED is flashing. So, because the ESC and the RC is already uh, publishing data here, so you can see uh, indicator LED is flashing. Now I have the CAM0 interface. Now I open the John Ken GUI2 here. If I select the can zero, I can see uh, this is a fifth node of my RC device. So we connect it, and because there is no fry controller here, so uh, the ESC need to have the DNA server to get the node ID. I will uh, enable the node server in the GUI2 here. So you will see it bring up. But it's still in maintenance mode. You can see there's a message here, there is uh, no signal. It means there is no input signal, so it won't boot into the mainframe right now. In the RC, uh, ESC panel here, when I uh, broadcast in 10 hertz, you will uh, find it is put into the mainframe right now. So before we start the software in loop program, we will uh, explore the John Ken ESC feature in here. If we enable the same army, we can. Uh, change the broadcast rate a little bit higher here 
uh, if we raise the slider it will spin before again we should check if the motor is safe to spin right now so we start so the the ESC is working now we fetch the prompt here to change the model KV to match my models on board like uh, the video before it's a uh, by direction and this is to reverse the motor direction and this is the ESID we will use in the auto plane as one engine the ESID is zero you can change the fit no fit no ID in here temperature array motor post all the plans are here and uh, let's change the melody here so this is the default ENC uh, ANC2 melody we use uh, a Batman theme for fun and we stand we save all and reboot so we can hear the Batman tone here Now uh, we will run the autopilot software in loop program. We will close panel here. You can see the RC RC panel here is working. So we jump to the next step. Now we will run the autopilot software in loop. If you haven't built the code before, you can check their wiki page, select your platform. Now I will skip this part. I run the same vehicle Python and select the auto plane target. I have enabled the cam driver, so it will show up the node 10. In the parameter editor, you can enable the cam one, the cam P one driver. You can enable your cam driver with the first driver. Now you need to enable the ESC B mask. Here we select uh, ESC one to four. You can see the ESC and the receiver node here because uh, it's in different interface. Now I will uh, bridge it with the John Cam Bridge Python to the Cam Zero to the Multicast Zero. I'm bridging it. So you can hear the Batman tone we said before. Now we will. Uh, confirm the ESC, ESC uh, in test. According to the auto pay model, the ESC in test is two. It's dense, so we will map into the model chart here. Now uh, we will try to take off it and you can see I have the ELI scan here I can set the cha RC channel here to control it with my ELI uh, PS now I will change to the takeoff mode Again, you need to check if the motor is uh, safe to spin. I will end the total. So the drone will take off. Then 
Elemental will return. Because it's hard to uh, menu fly now, I will set up the real fly simulation in last step. If you don't want to compile the software and loop on the source code, you can install the mission panel and run the simulation in the simulation tab. Now I have already connected to the real file emulation simulator. So I have a uh, UI scan so I can connect, control the drone with my UI TS. So I will uh, control the model in the simulation. Now I am, so I raise the truck. Is mapping with the model. So I will take off in stabilized mode. Okay, thanks for watching, goodbye.